Hey, welcome back to True Story with John Gibson. Today's guest is John Salter. John will be fighting for the light heavyweight championship uh, this Friday with Bellator at Bellator 264. Uh, John, how are you doing? I'm doing great. How are you? I'm great, man. I'm great. So, um, yeah, first and foremost, let me ask this. H how are you feeling? I guess I, I saw on Instagram training camp is officially done, right? So uh, how do you feel? Uh, good. You know, very rarely do I get out of training camp without any uh, small injuries, at least. And uh, I think everything went well. Nothing's banged up. Everything feels good. Uh, weight's better than it normally is. So um, really kind of perfect. Awesome. So cruising into fight week, sort of on target. That's it's wonderful, man. Um, I, I'm so excited. Um, I mean, we, we go back a little ways and obviously you're a friend of the show. You've been on the show before. Um, obviously been a fan for a long time, but you're so deserving of this title shot. Uh, you have, yeah, <laughs> well, I, mean, I appreciate been, that. You really are. You know, you've been in the mix in the title talks and contention since really 2018, I feel like. And, you know, 10 submission wins, seven KO wins. This is truly your time. So, you know, with that, I actually just want to sort of pick your brain really quick and ask what's, what's your sort of your assessment of your opponent, gay guard. What do you feel like uh, he sort of brings to the table? Uh, you know, the thing is with gay guard is that um, there's really nowhere that he's not good, you know, and you say that about a lot of people, but most people still make mistakes. Even people that are really good at things, they make mistakes places. The big thing about Gegard is he just doesn't make mistakes. You know, um, he's so tight everywhere. Um, so he's not a guy that you can wait for his mistake. That's kind of what he does. He waits for you to mess up. He takes yeah. advantage. So you've got to kind of force him into a fight he doesn't want to be in. And uh, the worst thing I think so many people do is go out and go, well, he's going to take it slow. I'll take it slow. And you're never going to beat him that way. You know, mm -hmm. um, you got to kind of uh, change up the pace on him. And, I, you know, I'm not a guy that's going to go out there and push a, a blazing pace. Um, but, you know, I've got to change it up to make him guess. Am I coming forward? Am I uh, standing ground, moving back, you know, and uh, angling? Like All that's going to be big because the second he gets a beat on what you're doing, he just starts taking over the fight. Yeah, yeah. Wow, that's a great assessment. That's great. Um, that's awesome. I, I also wanted to take a moment while I were sort of uh, just discussing sort of pre-talk stuff and give you an opportunity. I know it's really hard after the fight, but uh, ahead of time, is there anyone, maybe corner men, coaches, or anyone you'd like to sort of give a shout out, some recognition to going into the fight? I mean, you know, everybody at Salty Dog Jiu-Jitsu and, uh, and Jim O helps. You know, uh, mm -hmm. we got so many guys that even when it's just, hey, um, I need a, a round of you doing this it might be something that, you know, they don't like to do. Uh, you know, I'm doing a lot of my sparring with Jamie Pickett. who has got a long, fast jab, uh, like Gegard. I got Trey Woods. who has got a good right hand and he walks you down like Gegard does. Mm -hmm. Got Brian Barbarina, who's always throwing at weird angles that it's hard to see anything coming, you know, and that's, uh, Gegard's, you know, does that. You never know, you know, what's coming. Um, and then, you know, uh, when you go to grappling, I got Chris Honeycutt to wrestle with, who's uh, a stud, Tom Lane, who's a mm -hmm. Division One All-American, uh, Joe Selecki, you know, not my weight class, but so much time spent in cardio and grappling with him. Uh, and then, uh, you know, uh, Adam Jetton, who's a great black belt at the gym, Corey Crumpler, who is, you know, he's my main training partner in everything I do. He really simulates other guys really well. Um, you know, and it just, it, it goes down, you know, through that there's so many guys at the gym. I can't name everybody sure. who give me rounds of, uh, you know, well, I need you to just throw a butterfly guard at me this round. I need you to just work on holding me down this round, you know, and mm -hmm. just so many good guys like that. It does a good job. Yeah. I'm, I'm so great to hear that you have such a wonderful uh, sport network, you know, and, and such a great team behind you, you know, John, it's, it's, it's really, uh, you're so dynamic and it's, it's crazy because I believe your last two fights were won by submission. I know at least the last one was triangle, but you know, oftentimes you have several KO victories, but as you describe that, I, I can't wait to see the fight and how dynamic it's going to be because you have a lot of first round victories too. I mean, I think a lot of people maybe sleep on that. Um, you know, you're, you're methodical, you approach like hey, you're such a great opponent for him, but you're strong and you know how to assert your will. Um, so I, I cannot wait to see this play out. I, I'm really excited for this fight. 
Yeah, I appreciate it. Yeah, I like to put a lot of pressure, uh, you know, especially once I get on top, uh, make people make bad decisions. And, you know, that leads to a lot of early wins because people get desperate once they have a lot of pressure put on. Sure. Sure. Yeah. Uh, yes. And I think, again, you have all the tools with all, all due respect to uh, Gegard Musasi too. You're just so well-rounded. You have all the tools from your grappling, both wrestling and jujitsu, um, as well as the KO power and your kickboxing is, is amazing as well. So I, I can't wait to see this fight. You know, I'll, I'll leave you, uh, leave everybody with this too. I just want to say again, sincere thank you for finding the time during fight week to uh to check in with us you have a team of people behind you i uh, can't wait to tune in and support you this weekend uh this friday bellator 264 well thank you so much i appreciate it and thank you for having me on yeah my pleasure thank you john all right have a good one take care man